Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dom Loveleaf. I am your source for all entertainment news and all points of views. You know what? This territory is seeming very familiar to me. Didn't I just cover an R. Kelly story this morning? Well, you guys, the 52-year-old R&B singer went to family court today in regards to his child support order. But unfortunately, he did not leave back out of court. R. Kelly was arrested today. Apparently, he owes $161,000 in back child support to his uh, ex-wife, Andrea Kelly. Now, we know that he was in jail last week, and I was under the impression that the daycare owner that bailed him out, when she posted his bail, that Andrea was going to get uh, a back old child support check from that situation, but I guess it didn't happen like that. Apparently, Fox News is reporting and many other outlets that R. Kelly showed up today for court, you know, ready to make a payment or set up some type of installment agreement, and the judge wasn't having it. Um, he showed up in the Cook County Sheriff's Office. Spokeswoman Sophia Ansari told the Associated Press that Kelly was detained and would be transferred to the county jail. You guys, this is just not R. Kelly's day. I mean, he already had a crazy meltdown with uh, Gail Kane when he did that interview this morning, which was a horrible move. And who knew after that interview that he would be headed to family court for yet another blow. But you know what? This is going to force R. Kelly to really take a look at his situation, hopefully, because if he doesn't come up with that... uh. $161,000, $161,000, sorry, he will be in jail for quite some time, and it looks like the judge is definitely not playing with him. In regards to his sexual abuse allegations, he commented saying, I did a lot of things wrong when it comes to women, but I apologize in those relationships. Everybody says something bad about me. Nobody said something good. They were describing Lucifer. I am not Lucifer. I am a man. I made mistakes, but I'm not the devil. I mean, no, you're not the devil. And, you know, everybody has a testimony. Hopefully you will grow from yours, R. Kelly. But tonight, he is in jail. And who's going to bail him out now? Because apparently, he doesn't have the cash flow that he used to have. I mean, what happened to his money? Now to have random people bailing him out of jail, which how random was that relationship, you guys? I feel like he knew that woman for quite some time and they have some type of romantic relationship going on. I mean, who's going to bail somebody out of jail paying $100,000 for, uh, you know, just a fan, just on, you know, some loyalty stuff? No, that doesn't make sense to me, but he's in jail now. And this story is going to keep developing. You know, R. Kelly is not meant for jail. He is very, um, he has an ego about himself, you know. He played the victim today on the morning show. But he still carries himself like he has an entourage and he still has a lot of yes men around him. So jail for R. Kelly is going to be very interesting. I'm sure Andrea is, you know, smiling all the way to the bank. Although she did do that weird um, Instagram video where she was singing all of his songs and singing his praises. So, I don't know. You know, the whole family, the whole situation is very bizarre. I actually caught a YouTube video where I guess a young lady who was recently released from his custody or from, you know, being in the home where he lived. She was crying and talking to a lawyer and... You know, the city of Chicago and a lot of officials are now watching R. Kelly's every move and things are just not going to get easier for him. It's going to get harder for sure. You guys get that in the comments and let me know what you think about this mess. This is crazy and I'm sure more is going to unravel. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell and we will talk again soon. Bye.